All right, so we got this tore apart. We're gonna flip these over. This post broke off, so we gotta redo that post. And then we gotta cut these off and set these braces right on top where they were nailed on. On top. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, it's turned into a mess. Timmy got the pole duct pulled out. With a chain and some leverage. And now I gotta add a new one. Dig that out. Oh, it's not too bad. Put it right down in there and a couple bags of concrete, put a new post in there. Hopefully we can mark it and cut it out first. That way we don't have to wait for it to dry. Alright, so we got these where they should be now, sitting on top of the post. We're going to start putting these joists back in, flip them over. Uh, we'll have all that. And they're sitting on these blocks, so they should be more than sufficient. All right, day four. Day one, we uh, cleared the deck, took the took the uh, boxes. the boxes off, took all the boards off, and figured out what we had to do for the structure. Day two, we went and got unloaded all the trailer of everything that we had trash wise, and then went and loaded it all up with what we needed. Material wise. Material wise. Day three. Uh, we, we dug out a post that busted off, set all the structure on top of the post, cut all the posts off, flipped all the joists, put joist hangers on everything, and doubled up the rails. I have a couple things to double up yet today, and then uh, we're going to coat the, or put tar, tar down on the joists, uh, the self-sealant stuff, and then uh, start decking it. Uh, we'll, That'll be day four. Day five, we'll probably put uh, put the steps on and get the, the boxes built. I think she's going to hold off on the railings for now. So, in our defense, uh, as far as how long it's taken, there is been, there has been cold weather. And uh, she also makes lunch. Rain. Makes us eat lunch with her. And two days of rain, too. And we had two days of rain. Um, and we're not working super long days here we're doing other things too so uh, today might be a longer day um, and also I had about 10 days I didn't do much of nothing so I get tired a lot quicker than I used to still dealing with some congestion um, my hearing's not back all the way my taste buds are coming back so that's good and uh, Still pretty frosty in the morning. Last yesterday and today it's been about 40 by 9, so not too bad. Um, and then we had to deal with some extra stuff that we didn't realize that we were going to have to, like that broken post, and that was concreted in. We had to dig that all up. So. Well, we didn't know the other day until the other day we were going to have to do the post up, up set the deck. And it looked like it was it had dropped some, but more more than that, it it's it had fallen down the hill kind of it was leaning an inch down the hill and it had separated from the other part of the deck they've built onto this deck three times the bigger section that um, was my main concern had separated from the other two and was leaning down the hill so shouldn't have that problem anymore I think we got all the issues taken care of I got a few more things I gotta do but hopefully we can get that done today we're ready to rock and roll So right there it had separated an inch. It kind of, well it went from about a half inch to an inch down there. And all these poles were leaning forward. I've raised it up just above level so most of your weight's coming back. And we've joist hangered everything because some of those were pulling apart. And we lagged these together. So I think we got the problem solved. And it wasn't too bad. So, I got to double up this, take these up, 
and then she wants the steps back in here somewhere in between that and the house so we got to deal with that later probably leave those boards off for right now and do that after we get this all decked up past the door and then uh, we'll get those cut but we won't put them in until we get the steps in so I wore my lighter boots because wearing my steel toe heavy boots trying to lift my leg over this all day was hurting my knee now when you got a stubborn nail you can't pull stick something beside it you can use to prop your hammer or your pry bar on it'll pull right out okay so my tool belt is this tough belt and you just clip on any belt so there's this just clips on and off any belt and the tool belt just locks on there and they do have a utility belt with suspenders that you can add these clips to or you can hang these clips on the wall uh, or on your trailer and you can have multiple different tool pouches pretty nice system all right we got it all back together now we gotta start putting deck boards on hopefully we can get the deck boards done up past this door here and then we'll just leave these on and cut and come back and do the steps tomorrow and the flower boxes so that's what we're gonna work on next yippee I just gotta space them out and screw them down. It should, they didn't have any gaps, but this wood has to be able to swell and contract. I know stuff can get stuck in those cracks, but the water will drain and you can power wash that out. It's much better to have cracks than not with a wood deck. Trailer's empty. That build flower boxes and some steps. And we'll do that tomorrow. While you're watching this. Oh yeah, I want to show you. See those are them flowers I showed you before. The crocuses are about to bloom. Look at these daffodils. Daffodillies. Look at these little daffodillies. And they weren't blo they weren't blossom this morning. They were just starting to open. Now look at them. See, they all look like that this morning. Not a day. It's nice out. Beautiful. 